please welcome Eliza Skinner, everyone. Eliza Skinner! <laughs> in LA, but I was just in New York for a few months for work. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun being in New York. Um, boy, do they hate LA. <laughs> and they will tell you about it. And it's weird because this is my home, but they will say things that people would never say about your home. No one would ever walk in your house and be like, oh, I could never live here. <laughs> The people just seem fake. <laughs> but I love it here. It's where all my friends live. <laughs> my ex-boyfriends. Uh, I had lunch with my ex-boyfriend the other day. So. Oh, thank you for leaving me alone emotionally on that one. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take care of myself. Um, I, had, I had lunch with my ex-boyfriend. And I know that a lot of people, when you see your ex, you like to like dress up for it, right? <laughs> so you can be like, like look what you're missing. <laughs> You made a mistake. <laughs> I like to go in the opposite direction, just look as shitty as possible. So I can be like, yeah, you stuck it in this trash bag. You proud of yourself? <laughs> I win! I win the breakup. It's all about winning and losing in the game of love. <laughs> my most recent ex is actually my ex-fiance, so. Oh, you came with me that time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, he's fine. I'm fine. I just don't know how to stay in love with someone after watching them sleep on an airplane. <laughs> okay, if you're not laughing at that, that's because you sleep on airplanes. <laughs> the rest of us want to pour shit in your mouth and sew it shut. <laughs> you look like a big dead baby. <laughs> it's hard to feel sexual about you after seeing you that way. <laughs> It was actually hard for me to start dating again after that, because uh, I, mean, you know, I would go out on a couple of dates with a guy and be like, funny story, I used to be engaged, and then there would just be a man-shaped hole in the door. <laughs> I think they were making a lot of assumptions about me, a lot of unfair assumptions. I think they were assuming that I was like, oh, please, it almost happened. <laughs> I came so close to Sui <laughs> duetting. <laughs> I still have the duets. <laughs> I keep it in my kitchen and sometimes I dance with it. <laughs> Do you want to dance with my duets? <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I keep it under my bed so I can smell it to sleep. <laughs> no, it's also not, I didn't do any of that stuff. Like, as soon, as soon as the ring went on, I was like, ah, it feels like fire. Ah. <laughs> not what I expected. <laughs> no, I, I, I blame these guys, though. It, it, it's not them. It's me. I'm bad at dating. I don't like dating. Love is great. Dating is the worst. Like, you have to get to know people so fast. Some stranger. You have those getting to know you questions. That one question is just going to unravel your whole personality. <laughs> one question. I had a guy in a date ask, OK, do you like cats or dogs? <laughs> and I was like, what, to draw? Are you serious? <laughs> Are we six? You're asking me my favorite animal, and you're giving me two choices, like I can't like both. I can like both cats and dogs. <laughs> and clearly, by the way that I've answered, the answer is cats. <laughs> The only reason to ask that question is to rule out all the people who are like, uh, cats or dogs? Oh, neither. I like birds. <laughs> have you ever noticed that they have knives for noses? <laughs> and their eyes look like marbles pushed into tiny buttholes. I said that to a friend of mine, and he was like, oh, yeah, bird people are so weird. I knew this girl. She had, like, a buttload of birds. I was like, that doesn't sound like that many birds. <laughs> like, it depends a lot on the person and the birds and, like, what they're willing to put up with. I feel like, for me, it's maybe one bird, but honestly, I, don't, I haven't checked. I don't know. I'm Eliza Skinner. <laughs>